Hello everybody, Swaminath here. Today we are going to see Customer Master Configuration in BP Transaction Flow, in SAP SD S4 Now, let's go to the system. This is SAP. Let's go to BP Transaction. BP. BP Transaction. So we are going to do first new. So this configuration create PP roles we are going to create it and grouping we are going to create it. and I just I am just going to show you how to create it. okay let's go to slash the first step is OBT zero OBT zero transaction code OBT zero for customer account creation OBT zero okay let me select it from here copy X. C001. Sold to party. Learn to win. Learn to win. 22. C001. C001. The main, uh, the main uh, functionality of this is which are all the fields are mandatory field, which are all the fields are optional field, which are all field we are going to surplus it will be determined by this field status. Okay, these are all the fields. These are all the fields we have to surface. These are all the fields we want uh, required field, mandatory field, optional field, and just a display. Okay, so that is the reason we are uh, going to create this. We are creating this. Okay, in the number range, let me select, let me delete this and select EMR, number range EMR. Let's see what is number range EMR. See here, this is the number range. So for uh, customer master number range, for this also, we create this customer account. Okay, for number range as well as the field which is uh, mandatory, which is optional, which is we want to display, which which the field we want suppress. Okay, it. and save. It. Continue. Okay, now C zero zero. I have taken C zero. Okay, now come back. Now go to slash and vivo pan vivo pan transaction code vivo pan vivo pan here we have to assign the c001 to c001 to sold to party ship to party sh bill to party pp and payer p1 okay go to change Here, account group functional assign, function assign, new entry. Okay. Now go to sold to party SP. SP. Okay. C00. C00. SH. SH. Shift to party. C00. C00. Account. Account group. Build to party. PP. C00, C00, pair, C, P, Y, C00, my account number. Now, this is what I have assigned it to the partner functions. Continue. So now created. Come back. Now go to SPRO settings. Let's come back with S slash and SPR. SAP reference ID. Okay. Now cross application contracts. Now SAP business partner. See here, SAP business partner. Business partner. Okay. Basic settings. Now scroll down. Basic settings. In the basic settings. Field grouping. Field grouping. Not in field grouping. This 
business partner roles yes business partner roles in business partner roles define tp grouping define tp group new entry okay now let me select enter z Title, let me enter the title. Sir, double zero, double zero, five, grouping. Double zero, double zero, five, grouping. Okay. Now, present. Press enter and save. Save. Continue. Now double click onto this PP role grouping. New entry. FLCU01 and FLCU00. This is for FI customer. This is for sold to party customer. Roles, PP roles. We have to assign this PP roles to role grouping. Z double zero double zero five needs to be that is role grouping needs to be assigned to FLCU zero one and FLCU zero zero. Save it. Now come back. Come back. Let me enter some stars that are really useful for reference. Come back. Save it. Come back. Come back. Now minimize. Now go to field grouping. Number ranges and group. Number ranges and group. Now define number ranges. Intervals. Let's select the number range, any one of the number range, it's having a huge numbers. Then it will be very much useful for us. Should be internal. Let's select the internal. Let's select an internal. We'll have this TM, TM number reach, TM, TM number reach, TM number reach. Now come back. Let's come back. Define grouping and account as account number ranges. Assign number ranges. New entry. Grouping C001 I have given. So let me do the same C001. Not necessarily the same, which was created in OBT0. It need not to be the same. Okay. Now let me select short description. That grouping five five. Z grouping five five. My number is this TM. TM. Z grouping, let me take this. Paste it in notepad for future reference. Five five. Now seven. seven. Continue. Now come back. Just come back. One step back. Minimize this. Minimize this. Minimize this as partner also. Crawler. This is partner. SAP business partner also. Now master data synchronization. Master data synchronization. Customer vendor integration. Business partner settings, customer integration. Set BP roles to direction DP to customer. First one, set BP role category for direction DP to customer.
Uh, assign field assignment for customer integration assign keys. Here, define number assignment for direction DP to customer. New entry. Here, we have to do C001. It's my grouping. C001. Okay, we have to group together, which we have. This is from OBT0. This is grouping. We have to assign each other. Okay, now save it. Come back. I'll just show you where it is. Again, I'll just show you. Scroll down, scroll up. Master data synchronization, business partner settings, settings for customer integration, and then assign keys. Assign keys, define number range for direction DP for customer. Here you have to do new new entries, and then you have to assign each other C001 to each other, which we have created in OBT0 and which we have created here in cross application part. Okay. Now I have assigned both. Now come on. Now let's create the DB customer. Let's go to DB transaction. Now you will be able to create the customer. Person. Select the grouping here. What is my grouping? See, Z grouping. Triple five double five. Z grouping triple five double. Okay, that's come here. Okay. Now let me enter those investments. ROSC investments. Does it? Okay. Now seven. Display change. Now I'm going to display change. Now select it here. Set product. on. See here. Z grouping. This is the one. Z grouping. Z double five triple five. See here. Z double five double five zero. This is the one. New. Okay. Now enter the language. The Post. Roll down, enter postal key, postal code, enter city, country, go to company code, company code data. 1711 is my company. Enter reconciliation of code. Let me select it from the menu. Now save it. Save it. See, this is my customer. Customer. This is my customer. Okay. Customer number. Still not at finished. I haven't finished it. Okay. Now go to sales and distribution. My sales. Organization distribution channel and division that is sales area is LD01. Sales organization distribution channel LD division LD. Press enter. Enter price group 01. It's my price group. Enter sales district. Let me select it from the menu. Northern or southern or eastern or western. Press enter. Enter and save it. Tax classification design. Let me select the tax for 14%. Liable for tax. Save. Enter shipping condition 0 1. Standard. Save it. But what say changes have been made, and my number is customer number is you want to see the number again? General data go to general data, customer general data. See, this is my customer. This is my customer. 
this is how you do configuration with corporation of customer in SAP SDS. Thank you.